Yeah, you thought I was gonna start on the exact same spot, didn't you? Well, nope. Hello everyone, Wildfire Devil and Item 2 here, and welcome back to the Pearl Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we got through the entire Route 212 here. We caught some Pokemon, we fought some trainers, and we got here to the Valor Lakefront. Well, in this episode, we're going to start off by catching a Pokemon in the Valor Lakefront, hopefully. And there are a couple Pokemon I have in mind that I'm going to try and catch. And one that I have to catch no matter what. And one I might catch if I'm feeling generous. So, I say I'm going to switch around my team a bit, just see if there's something I can use. Um, yeah, doesn't work. I'll switch out to Apple. And I am going to go into the grass and see what I find. So my encounter for the Valor Lakefront is... Staravia, that counts as the dupes clause, number one. So, this does not count. And, oddly enough, it's a 5% encounter, so... I got the short end of the lucky stick. Okay. There are technically four Pokemon here I could catch, but three of them affect the evolution clause, so... I can only catch one of them by default. And this is it. Giraffarig. Like I said earlier, it's a normal psychic type with a chain chomp for a tail. So, let's go ahead and try and catch it. I'm going to start off by paralyzing it. And as it uses side beam, that's not good. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to want to switch after I paralyze it. Okay. So I'm gonna switch out to... I think Grape can was this side beam. So, let's do that. So let's see. It's paralyzed. That's good. Let's see if there's a move I can use. I'm going to try and risk a gust. Let's see. And that's good. That's good. I'll leave it there. It's using agility to raise its speed. Okay. Let's see if I can catch it. Let's go to bag. And since it's at night, I'm going to try out a dusk ball. See how much it does. See how it works. Sorry. One, two, a three. Alright, we got a giraffe egg. Alright. Now I gotta think of a name for this thing. So, let's check out his Pokedex entry. Giraffering, the long-necked Pokemon. 4 foot 11 and weighs 95... 91 and a half pounds. I almost said 95 and 0.1 pounds. I'm <laughs> sorry. While it sleeps, its head is on... The head on its tail keeps watch. The tail doesn't need to sleep. Yeah, who needs to sleep? I mean, honestly. So, let's name this thing. I want to think of a name... That's a palindrome like Giraffery's name. Let's see if I can find one. Let me check real quick. Hey, you know what? Forget it. I'll just name it something. Um, I'll name it. Since it's yellow, let me get my stylus out. I'll name it Banana. I think that works. I mean, Nana, a Nana is kind of a palindrome, just with the B at the beginning, so I think it fits. So Banana was sent to box two. All right, we got something here at Valor Lakefront. Now what are we gonna do? There's not really much else to do here, but what would my next encounter have been? Would have been a Graveler. Okay, that would have affected Evolution Clause, but I probably could have counted it if I wanted to. I'm sorry if I'm still congested, it's still allergy season, and pollen is really bad. <laughs> so, let's just get out of here. So, there's not much to do with the Valor Lakefront, and as you see, we can't quite get into Lake Valor, because these guys are blocking the way to protect the lake. It's nice to know there are still people worth admiring like that. I believe his name was Cyrus? Ooh, Cyrus. We've been asked to keep everyone out of the lake area. Reason? Not too sure. But apparently, to protect the lake. Yeah, pesky humans want to destroy the lake. Ooh, an item. 
We got the Paralyze Heal. Ooh, fancy. Alright, now there is a hidden item somewhere here, but for the life of me, I can't remember where it is. We can talk to this lady. What am I to do? I've gotta drop my Sweetie somewhere again. The hotel people won't be happy with me. For sure I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. So that kind of gives you a clue that it's nearby. But I honestly can't remember where it is. We could look around for a minute. I honestly can't remember where it is. Oh, and we're on Route 213. That's the next area. If I could find it, that'd be cool. And there's an item down there, but... Those little indents in the rocks we can't do too much with yet. At least... Can we? Do I have that HM yet? I can't remember. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> so... Oh, item's close. But... Not exactly sure where. Let's just look around for a while. Okay, so it's somewhere around here. Geez, I can't remember. I'm sorry if this is a boring start, but eh, that's life. Oh, we found the sweet key. There it is. Alright, let's go give it back to the lady. So maybe she and I can go into the suite and have a sweet time together. What am I to do? Ah, we already saw this. Oh! That's my sweet key! You found it for me? Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. Hey, aren't you gonna let me in? Ooh, she's all alone. Even better. Thanks for helping me out. Here's something for your trouble. A lava cookie. Basically acts as a full heal. That's all it really does. She just gives you a cookie made of lava. Darn it. And if we try to go out here... He'll say, no! Stop! Stop! Yes, you! Sunny Shore City! Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, has a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring power, but the road is closed now. Yeah, we can't go that way. And that's... That, out that way is actually the last city in the game. Or the city that has the last gym in the game. So, yeah. We're so close, but yet so far. Route 213 was so close to a patch of grass. PP up. You make my PP go up. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. So, let's go take a look in some of these houses. See what we can find. Me? I'm just a simple soul. I let my guitar do all the talking. All I need is Pokemon and music. I can shine wherever I go if I have those things in my life. Good for you. Let me gaze into your eyes. I will read your fortune. Destiny shall shift. Whether that bo whether that bodes well or ill is beyond the spectrum of my sight. We're traveling jump up street performers. In a place in place of a formal introduction, please take this. TM ninety two Trick Room. This move oh Trick Room Trick Room is a doozy of is a doozy of a weird time twister move. Use it and for a while afterward, the slowest Pokemon move first. But the faster the move, the slower it gets to attack. How you use the move is up to you, trainer. Yep. Essentially, it makes slower Pokemon go faster and faster Pokemon go slower. Kind of like switching around their speed. Or averaging it out and then... I don't know. Is that right? You're a traveler? Yes, it's good to see other places. Do you know about Mount Moon in the Kanto region? The fairy dances under the moon. It's something I must see in my life. Well, go to Kanto, then. Who's stopping you? And one more house. Actually, we can't get into this house. We need Rock Climb. Wouldn't that be awful? If you're living in that house, you'd need Rock Climb and the respective badge to get there. That'd just be terrible. I'd hate living in a house like that. But here we are at an inn. This hotel is so romantic. I hope a night on a Pokemon will sweep me away for a honeymoon here. Well, get on. I have a ponytail on the PC. <laughs> ah, hello. You wish to stay a night, but we got no reservation. I'm afraid we're totally booked. We may rest a while if you wish. We have plenty of tables, and maybe a chair, if you're lucky. 
We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Well, see you again. This is basically a place where you can heal your Pokemon if you're, like, in the middle of a place. Anything over here? Nah. We got a red shard here. Cool. We'll get to more into what shards are a little later. And this beach... Jeez, it's like a treasure trove of treasure. There's hidden items everywhere on this beach. It's two below me, right? Oh, one below me. Super potion. That's actually really nice. A free super potion. Why not? Here. It's still blinking. At, right in front of me. A great ball. A free great ball. A free super potion and a great ball. That's awesome. Anything else? Yeah, there's something up here. Oh, and the trainer I didn't see. Well, I did see, but I forgot to acknowledge. <laughs> I can battle too. In your little inner two, I see. Alright, we have Tuber Chelsea. Chelsea. She has a V barrel, huh? Well, that should be real easy for Apple to take out. Let's just use Giga Drain. And let's see here. Alright, that was easy. Alright, that was a real easy fight. Now, something I, f I need to mention. Remember that tunnel, or that cave we saw in the last episode? The Ruined Maniacs Tunnel? Or the Ruined Maniacs Cave? It can be expanded once you've caught ten unknown. In a Nuzlocke run, that's pretty much impossible. Because you can only catch one Pokemon per area, and that means you can only catch one unknown. Now, you could argue the fact that unknown is all one Pokemon, and that's it. Or you could argue the fact that it's only one form, and I could go catch more. After, after At least after the challenge is completed. Well... I don't know. I mean, it's still one Pokemon per area. That's not fair if I go back afterwards and catch it, catch another one, let alone another nine. So, I'll just wait a while to catch something. Maybe once I have a Pokemon at level 23 at my disposal, I'll use some repels and get a Hippopotas or something. Isn't this nice? I love my Unitube! Yay, you're like that other girl. Maybe, do you know her? By any chance? I mean, you're on the beach. Are you wearing? Are you even wearing pants? Tuber Jared has a Shellos. Now this is something I want for my team. Shellos. <laughs> what can I say about it? It's very good defensive. It's really good offensive. It once it evolves, it has only one weakness. I mean, it's a Pokemon I really want to get. If I can get it, at least. And why I decided to record at night is that once I'm on this route. I have a 50% chance of finding a Shellos, which is awesome. And we're sending out another Shellos, so I'll just keep battling. And this one is the, I believe, the west side Shellos, and the one I hope to get is the east side, which we'll hopefully see a little later. I really would like to see. Alright, one more fight. With one more shell. So you know what? I'm actually going to let Apple take a break. I'm going to switch out to Carrot. Alright. One more shell off to deal with. And let's go ahead and try our return. I really hope Carrot evolves soon. I mean, I really want that low punny. And Return seems to be doing a lot, so I must be close. We defeated Tuba Jared. I couldn't move very well because my inner tube got in the way. Sure. Sure it did. Okay. So let's move on more of the beach. I don't think there are any more hidden items. Oh, but there's an item back there contained in a rock smash. But I don't have Jelly Bean anymore, so I really can't go get it. But well, actually, didn't I teach Rock Smash to, like, Carrot or something? Ah! Trainer. 
Actually, it's kind of required, I guess. Let me demonstrate my techniques. This is how grown-ups battle. What, I'm not grown-up? Come on. Ooh, lady. Beauty Cindy. She's sending out Glammy out, huh? Okay, Apple can take care of this thing. And if you notice, their levels are significantly lower than the gym leader. So I really could have gone and fought all these trainers before fighting the gym leader, but... I like to feel protected on these kinds of routes. In, in this kind of challenge, actually. I want to take every precaution necessary, and I kind of forgot I could go fight these trainers. Heh <laughs> kind of mistake on my part. Is that how you attack? Psha! Like, totally. OMG BFF BBQ. Alright, let's go check and see if... Oh, I do have Rock Smash. Okay, what do I get? We got TM40 Aerial Ace. Oh boy, that is awesome. Now, I won't be using it right away because Pancake already has it, but that's definitely a plus. And there are a couple more trainers to fight, so... Maybe? It's a fancy hotel in a fancy place with a fancy restaurant. The fancy restaurant's filled with fancy people who think of themselves as being too fancy to battle alone. Okay. I think this guy's a trainer. Oh, I almost had that fish reeled in! You meddling kids! Or you meddling kid! Fisherman Kenneth. Alrighty, <laughs> a magic carp. Uh, I bet he was reeling in another one. <laughs> I hate magic carp with a passion, if you can't tell already. This is just pointless. I can quick attack them and then it'll be dead. It's not easy being dead. Alright, that was easy. In fact, I dare call it too easy. 81 experience, that's <laughs> nothing. Ooh, Remory, that's kind of that's kind of new. Yeah, Remory, that's different. Alright, let's use Giga Drain one more time. I'm actually running out of PP for Mega Drain. This is how monotonous it is. Alright. That was still easy. Alright. One more. Gyarados! This is a problem! Oh dear. This is a problem. Do I have anything that could do anything to it? Uh... I could risk sending out Pancake and have it use Fly. I think I'll do that. And I don't think it really has anything that'll do anything devastating to Pancake. Uh, at least I'll lower its attack. And it lowers mine. Wonderful. So let's use Fly. And fight. <laughs> Is that all you got? And not quite half. That's not a good sign. And bite. <laughs> <laughs> wow, was I really that scared? Oh man, it did only 11 damage. <laughs> oh dear. That's something to be afraid of, though. If it gets two out of hand. Get it? Because you see punches when it uses Thrash out of hand? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was bad. And still hasn't confused itself, but it didn't matter because we still took it out. A booyah. Alright, we took out that Gyarados. Dad Gyarados. Ooh, a thousand experience. That's actually worth something. You need to have more respect for a grown-up. You need to have more respect for a grown-up. Okay. I'm gonna go check out this house. Oh, I should've checked the sign. Hold on. Let's go check the sign and see what it says. Dr. Footsteps House. Footprints reveal all. Okay, he has a foot fetish. Creepy. But he's actually a friendship checker. So, I'm going to check the happiness of Carrot, see how much he loves me. 
Pokemon are quite easy for me to read. I need only their footprints, and their innermost thoughts are revealed to me. Yep, you have a foot fetish. Oh, you are skeptical, skeptical of my claim? Then let your Baneri walk in front of me, right here. From its footprints, I will determine how it feels about you. Creepy! Karen and Alex make a perfectly matched combo. I've seen all sorts of people so far, but Alex understands Karen's most, feelings most. A little bit hungry. You can tell, right? You're creepy. And that's what your Baneri thinks of you. Yeah, I'm not seeing you anymore. You're creepy. I don't like you. Now I'm going to go heal real quick. And I think it's time we catch another Pokemon. Because, yeah, we can do that. Ah, hello. You wish to stay at night. Well, you have no reservation. I'm afraid we're totally booked. You may rest a while if you wish. A bookshelf has just been opened up. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. And I'm sorry if I may have offended people who have British accents. I try to do the best I can. Probably not good enough. So, with that said, I think this guy might be a trainer. I'll fight him later. Up here is this huge honkin' patch of grass. And I really hope to find what I'm looking for, because no matter what, I'm going to get something. I just really hope it's what I'm looking for. Hold on, i got to check something. What's the percentage of me finding something I want? Well, Shellos has a 50% chance, and everything else is 30, 10, and 10. So, looks like I'm guaranteed to get something new, but I really want that shell off, so I guess we're going to go for it. Let me get Apple ready in the front. Oh, I really hope I find what I'm looking for. Oh, well, let's go ahead and just check out the new city real quick. Because we are here in Pistoria City. Yeah, we're here. We'll go ahead and check out more of Pistoria City later, but I want to go buy some Pokeballs real quick. Because I'm kind of low. I'm going to buy... 10. Get a Premier Ball. And... I'll buy... Seven Great Balls. Okay, I think I'm good. And I'll go into more what the city has to offer in a little bit. I just want to go and get that new Pokemon. I really want to get it. Come on, let's get a Shellos. Really hoping for a Shellos. Okay. My encounter for Route 213 is... Shellos! We got Shellos! Yes! Alright, it's level 21 male. That is incredible. Okay. I'm actually going to start off by using a... Netball. It's a water type. Let's see if it works. One. Two. Three. Yes! We got a Shellos! Oh, that feels so good! Alright. Shellos' data was added to the Pokedex. Shellos, the sea slug Pokemon. It lives along bodies of water. Its body shape has changed to suit its habitat. Yep, this is the east side Shellos. And no, the side the, the forms can't be changed. And I am gonna name it. Um, I think I'm gonna name it wait, let me check my list again. Make sure I haven't named it this what I want to name. Make sure I name it when I haven't named anything else. Okay. I am going to name it... Blueberry. It's blue. It works. So we got a shell loss. Let's go check it out. I'll go back... Actually, let me get the berries first. Man, I'm getting sidetracked on a whole bunch of stuff, aren't I? So we got an Aguave Berry. Whatever. We got a Rost Berry. 
We got another Lost Berry. And in case you haven't noticed, Ross is an anagram of straw. And Ayapapa Berry. Okay? Ayapapa. Ayapapa. Like what, a, what an Italian guy would say. Ayapapa. Ayapapa. <laughs> I'm sorry, that always... I, I always find that funny. Well, now that we're here in Pistoria City, let's look around. See what we can find. So, here... It's a Pokemon, Poke, ah, the PC, the Pokemon Center, can't talk today, and let's check this house. In the Great Marsh, they use quake trams on rails for transportation. They prevent damage to the Great Marsh's ecosystem. Say that, guah, guah? Yeah, the Great Marsh, that's something I'll get to maybe next episode, get out of my way, get these items, maybe next episode. The person berry. We got a person berry. A nana berry. Kind of banana backwards without another A. Another nana berry. And another person berry. Each berry in a Pokemon game is kind of based off of a real fruit in real life. But I'm not quite sure what person berry comes from. I don't know. Check this house here. You know about Burmy and how they come in different forms? Do you have all forms of that there, Burmy? Oh, you don't even have a single Burmy? You don't like them? They're kind of mushy and cute. Okay. Hmm, Burmy are quite an interesting example. They hint at how the environment can shape, pe shape people's personality. Yeah, okay, only female. Males turn into muffin. Okay, and this house is very important. It is the Move Relearner. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Move Maniac. I prefer a Move Tutor. I know every, every move that a Pokemon can learn while they're leveling up. I can teach Pokemon those moves. I can teach a move to a Pokemon of yours if you like. I'll do it if you jam me a hard scale. Oh, that's it. That's as long as good as hard scale. Let me guess. You want to teach one of your Pokemon a move? It's Pokemon you're tutoring. Yeah, this is the move relearner. Pretty nice. Out of curiosity, what could Grape know? What move should I teach? Uh, not a whole lot. Probably not worth it. Constrict? Yeah, right. Minimize? No, need it. Astonish? I don't need it. Focus energy? No. Swallow? I have spit up. If I need to re relearn a move, I'll come back here. And this is where you go if you need to relearn a move. Here I am standing. I'm smack dab in the middle of a town. Middle of town. Okay. Are you sure you're not staring into the guy's window? You're staring at his every move? Some Someone in the Great Marsh offered me a hidden machine, but I declined. I don't need it because the gym leader will do deep fog for us. If, I am, if we ever need it in the city. Yeah, deep fog. That's an HM in this game. Basically, it's a move that resets your Pokemon, the, the opponent Pokemon's evasiveness if they are a double team spammer, which could come in handy in like Wi-Fi battles and stuff. But in real game, in the actual game, it's terrible. It's a complete waste of a slot. I don't even know why they thought it was a good idea. I mean, at least Flash lowers your Pokemon's accuracy and Whirlpool. Well, Whirlpool does subsequential damage each turn. I've been hiking all around the center region. I love planting berries wherever I go. I'll give you a berry too. Please plant it somewhere. We got the Kassib berry. She'll give you a rare berry every day. My sister got those berries every day. Please come visit them. I got berries too. We mix them up. They're yummy. Yeah, that's about it. And that's actually about it for the town. We'll get more in the Great Marsh and the gym later. Down here, I think there's a hidden item. Yeah, somewhere. Not quite sure where. That's not being helpful. I hate it when it flashes like that, because I can't ever... Oh! Darn it, where was it? Where were you? Oh, here we are. A full heal. Cool. And up here, 
and to the left, we're on we're already on Route 212. And if I find a patch of grass, I could go ahead and catch another Pokemon. So let's see if we can do that real quick while we're here. Yep, here we go, patch of grass. So let's take a look and see what we can find. I have an idea of what I want to get. It's all a matter of finding it. Or right, my encounter for Route 212 is Cricketune. Uh, you know, I've been feeling kind of guilty, but I've been feeling guilty about weaseling in the evolution clause when I found one of these things. So I think to make it up, I'll catch this Cricketune. I mean, it's only fair. Oh, it's using Bide. I better be careful. I'm gonna use Stun Spore. And I'm gonna... While it's using Bide, I'm just gonna use Toxic Spikes. Still storing energy. I think it's only fair. I mean, I weaseled in the roll unexpectedly, and I feel bad for it. So, to make it up, to make up for it, I'll catch this Cricutune. And it's gonna use it one more time. So, it's gonna have bite one more time. Ah! Paralyzed! Ha ha! So, with Toxic Spikes being used one more time, let's go ahead and try and catch the thing. I'm not gonna really try to attack it. Well, what do I have? I have... Grass Knot and Giga Drain. How heavy is Cricutune anyway? Hold on. Cricutune only weighs 56.2 pounds. So how much would Grass Knot do then? I'm just trying to plan this out strategically. Oh. Taking into account same type attack bonus and not very effective. It would do somewhere around a base 60 power. So, I think I'll try Grass Knot just for the heck of it. Oh, good. That's perfect. Beautiful. So, let's catch the thing. Rain continues to fall. So, let's use a Pokeball. And if you're wondering what else I could have found on the route, I was kind of hoping for a Wooper, actually. That would have been really useful. Oh, shoot. Oh, I almost had it. It's kind of like a Shellos, in that it evolves into a Water Ground type that's very offensive. Offensive, not offensive. <coughs> and defensive, actually. It's not that bad of a Pokemon. I'm not quite sure which one's better, but either one is accepted. And I need a water type. That's really good, so. Shoot! I think I'll just throw a Great Ball or something. <clears throat> okay, don't put me to sleep. It's not cool, yo. <clears throat> Alright, let's try one more ball. Let's try the Dusk Ball. It's nighttime, it'll work, hopefully. One, two, three. Perfect. Whew. We got a lot of episodes. We got a lot of stuff done in this episode. Like, we got a lot of episodes done in this episode. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff done. Cricket Tune, the cricket Pokemon. It signals its emotions with its melodies. Scientists are studying these melod melodic patterns. Ooh. Yeah, I'll nickname it. I think I'll name it... Uh, raspberry. I think it fits. It's a, uh, it's red. It's got something to do with it, I guess. I don't know. We found a lot of berries in this episode, so that's what I thought of. So let's get these uh, these berries here real quick. Pedge berry. And three pinup berries, looks like. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff done. I mean, we caught three Pokemon, and we got to Pastoria City. So I think I'm going to end it off about here. 
So, if you like what you watch, like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Wildfire00972. In the next episode, we are going to go on to Route 212 and fight some trainers here before we go on to the gym. So on the note of seeing these three new Pokemon, Banana, Blueberry, and Raspberry, with a na naive, quiet, and naive natures, what do they do again? Let me check my natures list. So, quiet, lower special attack, but, but no, raise his special attack, what am I saying? And lower speed, so that's really good. And naive, where are ya? Naive, where are ya? Naive raises speed but lowers special defense. That's okay, I'm not gonna use these two anyway. I will be using banana blueberry though. So, a note of officially adding blueberry to the team somehow. I will see you later. Well, not later, but I'll see you next time.